my Stampin' Friends, Brenda Hillard here at Create with Brenda. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today to show you a really fun stamp set called, and I'm still celebrating sunflowers, this time I want um, my friends and fellow stampers who do not have a die cutting machine to be able to enjoy this beautiful set as well. So I'm gonna be talking to you about the eight stamp stamp set called Celebrating Sunflowers. So let's go down to my workspace. All right, here we are. I've had a couple videos this week. And again, this is just uh, introducing my August host code. This month, any of my customers who place an order with me, a uh, $75 minimum order, receives the Christmas Means More stamp set. So it's a good, it's a good little incentive to purchase. And our holiday gift giving season is just right around the corner. So if you're thinking about making some handmade gifts or if you're thinking about making Christmas cards, now is the time to order your stuff so it gets here in time and then you have time to craft. So let's get started with our project. Like I said, I wanted to share with you this beautiful stamp set, the Celebrate Sunflowers. This is a cling stamp set, meaning that the stamps are red rubber. They are not photopolymer, which are the see-through and they're repositional, repositionable um, with the sticky film onto our acrylic blocks if you're new to stamping or a first time stamper. So here's the project I wanna demonstrate for you tonight, today. And this is really a fairly simple card. I'll give you all of the dimensions and whatnot, but then I will also post all the details on my blog as well at createwithbrenda.com. So let's bring in our supplies. You're going to need one piece of early espresso, or that's what I chose for this project, and it measures five and a half by um, eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Match up your edges, bring in your bone folder, and give it a nice crisp so that your card lies nice and is equally aligned at the edges. You'll also need a piece of crumb cake. The crumb cake measures, oh you guys, sorry I forgot. It's four by five and a quarter. So four inches by five and a quarter inches. You'll also need a piece of, and I chose to use the uh, very vanilla cardstock, and I have two pieces of very vanilla that measure three and three quarters by five. All right, and really that's it. I have a very vanilla medium envelope, and our only embellishment is going to be the braided linen trim, along with coloring. I'm gonna be using the Daffodil Delight um, Stamp and Blend Combo and Crumb Cake Stamp and Blend com Blends Combo. And our ink is going to be the Early Espresso. And then I am going to um, make this into a birthday card with the Let's Celebrate. So, um, my sentiment on the inside, and I can show you the inside of this one, is wishing you so much happiness today and always. So, and that sentiment comes from the So Sentimental stamp set. All right, let's get started with our project. So, we're first of all going to take our Early Espresso ink, open that up. I'm going to clear my space here a little bit so I'm not tipping things over on my project. And I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper. And you'll see why I'm doing that in just a moment. So I'm going to take the big 
sunflower stamp and I'm going to ink that up moving it around on my ink pad tap 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 lightly and then just ensure that you've got good ink coverage and I'm going to stamp part way off on the corner up here and when I have a bigger stamp I like to really kind of I don't really want to say pounce but I like to move my fingers around so that I get a good crisp clean image all right now I'm going to tap again And this one I'm just going to take up to the corner just a little bit. Good. Tap again. And this time I'm just going to give a little bit here on this bottom corner. So it looks like that. I'm going to bring in our sentiment, and again, that's from the Celebrate Sunflowers, the Let's Celebrate You. And I have that mounted on my block. These blocks have letters on them. This is the H block. The letters just represent the size of the block. I'm going to tap, tap, tap again, making sure that I get good ink coverage. And then I'm going to set it down and count to three. One, two, three. Three, that allows the ink to absorb into the paper. While I have the ink out, I'm going to bring in our other three and three quarter by five piece. This is going to be our sentiment for the inside. And that's this wishing you so much happiness today and always. So I'll bring that in and Tap it around again on my ink pad, and then I'm going to, do you notice how I have this stamp kind of kitty corner on the block? It really helps me get my sentiments straight if I don't try to line it up square on the block. So then you're just focusing on your sentiment and not, uh, not the lines of the block. So there's the sentiment. I love the font on here. I love the saying. And then is what I did is this, these two little leaves in here from the stamp set. I just mounted those up. This is the B block. And I'm going to tap, tap, tap again. And I'm just going to add these two little leaves right down here at the bottom. I just thought that filled it in nicely. And then... Um, I'll take my sunflower one more time and ink that up and I'm just going to stamp on the very bottom corner of my envelope okay whoops no scratch paper that time oh well all right so our next step with this is coloring and this, I'm not going to speed up on the video because I want to show you really how quickly these go. The blends, again, have the paintbrush tip and then they have a bullet tip. And being I stamped this one first, and you don't have to be careful because you see how you went off the edge. So no, not to worry. And you guys, honestly, I am not a good, like a water painter. I'm too, um, I don't know. I'm just too type A for, for water coloring. And these blends are like a godsend for me because I think they look great. And usually I'm pretty critical of my coloring and painting abilities. So if you don't have the Stampin' Blend markers, it's worth checking into. Um, they are alcohol-based, and so when you color with them, 
you want to make sure that you have a scrap piece of paper down and I'll show you why. So there's our three and that was the light. It comes in combos, a light daffodil and a dark. Now I'm just going to take the dark because when we, and I want the brush end, when you look at a sunflower, you know how it's really dark like towards the center just because of the concentration of the petals. So then when I go out, I'm just really random and I'm kind of highlighting the um, lines that were already there for me by stamping with the early espresso ink. So there's that. All right, I'm good with that. It's pretty, isn't it? And it's really fast and easy. All right, so now is what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the braided linen trim. And I'm just going to take a little bit of my... Um, oh, where did my stamp and seal go? I don't know. Well, I have a little, an old cartridge of Fast Fuse here, so I'm going to use that, even though it's been replaced by the um, Stamp and Seal Plus. Sorry, I have to adjust just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. All right, then I'm going to take this trim, and I'm just going to... Uh, Attach that piece on the back there, bring it across the front of my card, and I'm going to cut it and then fasten that piece onto the um, adhesive on the other side. And now I'm going to bring in that mat of crumb cake, and that just fits uh, right. Well, you guys, hmm. give me a minute. I'm going to take this all the way up, sorry. All right, there's always two sides to a piece of paper, right? Just like there's always two sides to a story or an argument. All right, so there's that. Then for you that do not like to tie bows, you can do one of two things here. You can either go like this and just tie a knot and be happy, or you can move just with the end piece, make your loop, wrap it around, make your bow. And I like doing it this way because your bow then is going to stay in the position that you want it in. So taking a mini glue dot, I'm just going to pick one up with the center of my bow and I can place it right on, right on my card. Trim my tails. For this next step, I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals. And I showed you yesterday how I have all these pieces or just edges where I've used the whole center, but I just go around and snip. And you can use these edges too. You don't have to waste them. So now I'm just going to take those pieces add them to the back of the crumb cake and take the backings off from the, it's like that little wax paper film, backings off the dimensionals, oops, trims, and bring our card base back in and I'm going to center this on the with the early espresso. And that early espresso just makes this pop, I think. I think I have my top.
tie just a little bit crooked, which then was making my sentiment look funny. All right, I'm gonna add some seal to the insert. And I'm gonna put that in the center of my card. And voila, and that's just the stamp set and colored with the Stampin' Blends. I hope you like my product, or my project today, I should say. And all of these products are available in my online store. You can go to createwithbrenda.com and hit the Shop Now button. You can also go to, I'll make an entry on my blog that will highlight all the supplies from today's that you can add to your cart if you would like to shop with me. Remember, if you do place an order, please use the August host code and if your order is a minimum of $75 in product, I will send out the Christmas Means More stamp set. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.